Hey everyone, Mr. Brandy M1911 back here again, and this is on continuation of my tier four system. Here I have two large M3 medic bags, and I said, as I said before in the first video, uh, this is a supplement to my tier five. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one of these kits and just kind of show you. Uh, these are predominantly my trauma bags, and they have. Uh, items in here for trauma. You get, uh, of course, three pouches and you get a middle pocket here. And what I'll do is move it out of the way here, open up the first pouch here, and inside here I have a couple bags of cotton balls. Cotton balls can come in handy real easy. Uh, Got a bag here with tampons. Got some uh, uh, masks here, dust masks basically. These are the, uh, the thicker ones for uh, that I get at Ace Hardware. And I got a couple of loose bags here of safety pins. Here I have one standard uh, Adventure Medical Kits trauma pack. These are really good packs. Um, I highly recommend that uh, people get them for their kits and whatnot. Here I have a couple 2x2 two two gauzes, uh, feminine hygiene uh, pads. Now, you know, these things can pull double duty. If you have, you know, somebody out there that needs one or whatnot, it's available. Or you can actually use these for wound covering. Here I have nosebleed gauze pads. These are great for excessive nosebleeds. Um, they gel up when you put them in the nostril when they uh, or when the bleeding, and it helps stop the bleeding really fast. Uh, here I've got some Perforon uh, first aid pads. Uh, four by four dressing sponges. If you'll notice, I also put everything in a Ziploc bag because if you don't put it in a Ziploc bag it, it gets all over the place and you just have an issue. It's easier just to keep everything in a Ziploc bag. Okay, and then I have a whole bunch of dressing sponges and more dressing sponges. Okay, and like I said um, I have my backpack uh, medical kit, which I'll be going over uh, shortly and whatnot. I have all, you know, a lot of these items in that bag, and if I run out, I can turn to this bag that might be in my truck or might be at my campsite, you know, or wherever if I need to utilize it or whatnot. Um, so that's the first pouch. Here in the middle pocket, here I have a uh, a cotton bag. It says for making cheese, it's a cheese bag. But what this works out great for is for filtering water. If you have water that has a lot of sediment in it, just use that to filter out the sediment in your water. Then I have surgical masks. Here I have some alcohol prep pads. I've got alcohol prep pads everywhere. A pair of EMT shears. Uh, EMT shears always come in handy second pocket hmm. some sports sun sunscreen uh, a little package of uh, tissues an interesting thing these tissues came out of a French uh, ration that I had a while back and these ones here these ones here came out of a British 24 hour ration pack so I still had them and uh, I decided to put them in here. Here I have HydroSafe. This is a, a cleaning solution for your hydration packs. I have three pouches here of uh, uh, water purification tablets, finger splints, and I have a surgical kit here field surgical kit. Uh, 
just an extra kit that I have. Okay. And then in the third pouch, here I got an ear bulb syringe. That can help out for if you have to like, uh, of course, clean out the ears or anything like that, or if you need to uh, wash out eyes. Got some more alcohol prep pads, some waterproof tape, a little baggie of Q-tips, uh, Adventure Medical Kits, Blister Medic Kit. These come in handy, got to take care of your feet. Here's another uh, package of the Chlorflock. That's what the, these are, Chlorflock uh, water purification tablets. Another uh, foot care kit and rubber gloves. Always carry rubber gloves in your kits. Okay, and we're going to get ready to do uh, the other kit. All right, and here's the, uh, the other large M3 medic bag. Go ahead and open up pouch number one. Now this one here has got some of the vintage stuff in it. Uh, here we have some old boxes. Of here I have some gauze pads, gauze sterile pads. These are the older style. Now there's no year mark on these, so I'm not really sure what year these came from. This is uh, an old style first aid antiseptic. These little bottles. Uh, some of them kind of got empty, but there's still some pink colored liquid in there. It's uh, basically alcohol and benzocaine or something of that nature. And then here are these old style band-aids. And these band-aids, for as old as they are, they are still in excellent shape. You can clearly see the old style uh, uh, wrapping. So, but like I said, I don't know what year these are from. I've been trying to look it up to see the make of year. Here I just have a couple roll gauze, more gloves. Um, here I have a uh, World War II issue small Carlisle bandage. I have another World War II issue Carlisle bandage. Here I have a medium bandage from Vietnam. And yeah, I keep them in here. Why not? Um, even though those bandages are really old, I could still conceivably use them um, for medical purposes. Um, even if they may not have their sterility still there, what I can do is I can, like, on a wound, leg, arm, or whatever, I can put sterile gauze bandages down on top of that and then take one of these and put it down on top of that and just tie it off. Here I have a standard tourniquet. <coughs> Cohere bandage. Uh, <coughs> quite a few uh, triangular bandages. Here I have a North American Rescue field bandage. Here I have a couple H&H &H wound seal kits. Uh, these are great for chest wounds. Blast damage uh, uh, bandage. Here I got some of the older style field dressings. The old green ones here. They still work. And then I've got three of the large abdominal bandages. which work great. Here again I have a middle pocket, some more uh, uh, surgical masks for personal protection. Ah, got some duct tape in there. Got double A batteries in there. The second pouch here I have a bunch of emergency blankets. Here I have another roller gauze and then I have a sole bivy which works out there for keeping people warm, keeping them from going into shock. Third pouch, bag of uh, uh, cotton balls, North American 
or not North American, Adventure Medical Kit's uh, wound care kit, or wound closure kit. <coughs> Another roller gauze, nasal pharyngeal, uh, antifungal liquid, uh, cohere bandages, ace bandage, and another cohere bandage. That's pretty much what I got in those two kits together. And like I said, I have all these items in my much larger tier 5 kit, and these will be utilized through the system if I need to replace anything in the, the larger kit. Um, and stay tuned for the uh, the next video. It's going to go over the smaller N3 bags and uh, show you what's going on with those. This is Mr. Browning M1911, out.